ladies and gents and welcome to ASFN Fishing. Thank you for all of you that subscribed already and have got the notification button on. If you haven't, please do so. Also like the videos that you find interesting and you believe can help you. Now today I'm switching back to something basic, the standard bronze bream trace. Okay, we've shown you guys a whole bunch of little McAfters, specialist traces, but just a standard, standard bronze bream trace is what I'm going to run you through today. And what I'm using is the combi swivel, the 5.6, the combi power swivels, ring chino size 1, you can even go size 2 if your bronze bream is smaller in the area, the 10 millimeter or 12 millimeter, sorry, 12 millimeter kingfisher floats, the bright orange one, and then I still prefer Siglon, the fluorocarbon, but you can also use any monofilament, like a white monofilament for this or um, Maxima Ultra Green to, to actually fish for them on a 0.55 and down to a 0.50 if you want to fish a bit lighter. All right, so very simple. I'll just give you guys the exact length um, of the traces. And for the hook, I'm going to cut about 30 centimeters. And that I'll use for my hook, but uh, obviously the knots are going to use up quite a bit of that. So you're looking at about a 20 centimeter trace. All right, now simple, just tie your hook on with a figure of eight. Right, nice and tight. Then, I'm gonna grab a toothpick. You're gonna need a toothpick just to secure your foam. Or float. I think it's gonna be quicker just cutting the hole here and popping one out. All right, you're gonna stick your float on there and you're going to use the toothpicks sharp end and push it next to the line on the float quite hard. You're going to cut that off and then you can use your nail, your thumbnail and even wedge it further in to secure it. You'll shoot, see how that shoots up when you're fishing. So that's the distance I'll want it from my hook and I'll tie my prawn up there. Now what this does, it, it creates the movement as well as that visual attraction of the bright orange. Remember these fish feed between rocks and stuff where there's a lot of these bright orange little food sources for them which I'll hit on maybe red bait or whatever. Okay, but uh, they also like that, that green long thickish green grass looks like linguine if you can compare it to pasta that grows on the rocks. In that area you can fish for them just as a tip. Then on the combi swivel, like I've explained many times, the bigger iron, the bigger swivel, it goes to your leader or your main line. The bottom is for your hook. So we're going to tie the hook on there. Okay. Now that can be 20 up to 30 centimeters, your preference. I like to fish it like this. Now this is 0.55, so I can use 0 0.50, 0 0.45 for my sinker line, or even thinner, you know, as you gauge down on your hook snoot, the diameter you use there, you'll gauge down on your sinker line for the purpose when you get stuck that it will break off. That's your weakest point of your whole setup should be your sinker line. All right, so I've got here 0.5 oh, maxima. I will use that for my sinker line. That goes on the small swivel of your combi swivel. Figure of eight. Now, this section, your sinker section, I fish about three times the length of the hook section because you want it up in the air. All right. Well, up to five times in this case. And again, 
just twice I'll form a loop and that's to attach my sinker all right very simple guys there it is a standard bronze bream trace now I just want to grab a sinker to show you guys now firstly by fishing this there's a, several reasons I fish a loop here for my sinker it doesn't snap off as quickly on the rocks because you're fishing over rocks you pull this in over the rocks the whole time the knot hits the rocks it's off with this loop uh, it lasts a lot longer before you'll lose your sinker if you do lose your sinker all right and it makes it easy to vary the weight depending on how rough the water is washing you want it to move a little bit so it moves into a gully on the edge there or sometimes you don't want it to move at all so you'll vary your sinker size until you find the fish or you find the bites so that's what that's for and then secondly it just makes it easy this doesn't it keeps the exact length of your trace each time you fish after you fish you roll this up put it back in your tackle bag when you take it out it's the same length if you tie the sinker you're going to clip it off clip it off clip it off this will get shorter until you have to replace this piece of line so just assist you in going a bit further with your tackle and saving a bit on on your trace material so guys yeah standard trace for bronze bream there you have it now thank you everybody for watching as you've been fishing thank you for everyone that subscribed that really helps us that's how we grow as well as liking the videos also remember that little bell button is a notification button um if you hit the drop down on that and you say all notifications you'll receive a notification every time we upload a video but thank you for watching and all the best out there with this lockdown it's frustrating for all of us we'll just hold on keep on making traces cleaning tackle servicing reels thinking and dreaming and watching videos for the day we can go fishing again thanks guys